Hello and welcome back to week three of season five in the ROGLA. Just gonna make sure I get the info out to the team. It's gonna send it to a player for Colorado. And we'll be good. I am also sending out the info before I make the lobby, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. Uh, okay, got that. No, we should be good, I think. Um, we'll see, though. There, here you can see how things are shaking up. Of course, we're halfway through the week. Five matches down, five to go. We'll have two of them tonight, and then one in the afternoon, and two in the evening tomorrow. So, going to wrap this one up in the next two days. Uh, it's been an interesting week. A couple upsets, maybe. Um, I'd say maybe Rangers Aces. And obviously, Mafia High Rollers. Other than that, pretty much to plan. Of course, Sea Riders getting a little bit close there against the Legends. But focusing in, of course, we are here for the Dragons versus the Mavericks. Now, um, pretty interesting. The Mavericks making a, a roster change, picking up Corvus. Does make sense. A pretty good free agent. Um, was on a team for a time, but ending up back in the pool did get snatched up. So. Pretty good pickup for them. Of course, you can see, especially in the case of the shooting accuracy, not the best uh, stat there for the Mavericks. So just trying to get that changed, trying to get a little bit more solid. Uh, don't want to fall to 0-3. Had a couple teams. Aces. To remember. Who, who is currently 0-3? Let me take a quick look. We got Aces, Legends, and Houston currently at 0-3. Mavericks trying to avoid that fate. And the Reaper is going to do the same tonight. So, a couple of interesting games. Teams fighting. Both our games, in fact, are 1-1 one one versus 0-2. Oh so, uh, it could be an interesting one. I'm definitely going to lean with Dragons. I'll say that right away. Uh, I don't have any gauge. I haven't seen this new Maverick Squad play. Of course, they also do not have Killer B today, which Kaipo's first game's a pretty solid player. Um, I'm pretty sure he's diamond diamond to champ and plays pretty much like it. So we'll see how they end up with that. At the very least, getting those sub games in need 14. So not bad for them. But on the other side, Dragons are a good squad. Saw them get the upset win or upset at the time. Maybe less so now over the Reapers. As I do believe we're good to go, though. So I'll let them know that we can jump in. And we'll get this one going. Best five, as always, starting out on Sovereign Heights for game one. They should get everyone in here, and there we go. So, jumping in, best of five. As I said, I am leaning with the Dragons. So, second to see them win. But Mavericks, the team we're going to be watching to see, can they perform? Can they get that first win on the season? Kaipo here, dropping it down. Corvus on the rotation. Going to push it back up. Turning himself, Zack to challenge, does get it back forward. Yuki beats out Bula, which notably, also the sub for the Dragons, their first games with him. So at least early on in the series, a little bit of help there for the Mavericks getting the sub in. See if they can take advantage and then carry that momentum. Good pinch away here from Pitch. This one will fall a little bit wide. Kaipa no touch coming out awkward. Zack is there dropping it down on target, but Corvus in the net, able to get it away. Yuki now trying to kick start. Counter attack, going to send it down the center. It'll bounce back out. Corvus reaching on it, but blocked out to the sidewall once again. Yuki, another 50. Kaipo, can't go fast enough. So Bula gets it back out to the center, but Corvus the only one there. Zach is going to stall it, but Corvus back up, dropping it down to the corner. Yuki moving on to it, 50 in pitch. It goes off the sidewall, coming out to the center. Zach the only one up. No, he'll pass it forward to pitch, although Corvus once again getting the save. Now, once again, it will be a little bit different here with Kaipo. You can already tell a little bit slow, tr trying to get the touches and doing fine, but not quite the consistency and the offensive killer B. As they are going to get one in here, though, as I was in the middle of saying it, they do only have five goals in the season. Make it six with that one. Yuki just cross field bangs it. Pitch trying to jump, can't reach it. No one else back. And so the Mavericks 
Going to get the first goal here. Three and a half minutes on the clock. There is still some time as Yuki trying to get another one. And they've all, they're making a dent in their numbers here. Kaipo going to get the assist. Yuki going to get the shot. Zach this time misreading it. Pitch and Vula both diving back and not, neither of them can clear it. And it's 2-0. Great start for Colorado. Now the catch from Yuki on the dribble. Going for the flick. It does get away. Pitch will get the steal. No miss jump from Corvus. Kaipo now left alone. Has to at least stall. Able to push to the side. Zach on the sidewall towards the backboard. Looking for the double. Drops it down. But all way off the crossbar. Just a little bit off target. Pitch now with the miss. Bula plays it forward. Pitch turning around, going to the air. Maybe look for the pass or the shot. Air dribble down and maybe sent in by the defender, but it doesn't matter. It's 1-2. On the board. Are the Dragons trying to fight back into this one? Definitely a big win for them, I do believe. They, they were number two in the East heading into this one by way of winning, being on top of the Boeing division. And I believe they re can retain that spot with a win. And so I'd much prefer that over falling to one and two, losing record. We shall see, though. Still a lot of time as we are now passing the halfway point. Lead in play still for the Mavericks. Kaipo trying for this one. Is able to get a fake as it falls out to Yuki. Zach, a good bump. Pitch. Keeping it in the corner. Bouncing it out. Played back in by Yuki. Now Zach. Good double downfield. Kaipo able to stall it. Does get removed as it falls down to Bula. Bula now going towards the air. Bula to the backboard. Looking for the pinch. Pushes it across, but no shooter. So Kaipo going to be able to take it away. Although he is 50 back in now. Off the back wall. Zach's up. Zach down. 2-2. Two -two. Knotted up by the Dragons, not going down quietly. Gave up two quick goals, but respond with two of their own. And so we're level. A lot of time on the board. And the Mavericks get back into a swing. Or are the Dragons done playing around? It's a big bang. Kaipo looked for the redirect and get beat by Zach, dropping it back down towards pitch. He just drops it on target. Looks for the challenge, but Corvus pushes it around him. Corvus following it, it, bouncing out to the center. Zach off the wall. Yuki pushing it across. Kaipo moving over. Pitch a big 50. This would go downfield. Yuki a little bit of a miss. Ula now off the side. Zach trying to get up towards the backboard off the crossbar. And pitch is there. Corvus trying, but pitch able to force it through. Couldn't see him hidden by Zach in the air, but Pitch was there. And he strikes Kaipo a little bit of a misery, does bite them. Pitch going a little bit wide. Maybe could have put the far near post there, but Corvus went high, so still able to push it under him. And that's three in a row for Philly. Mavericks doing well for their production, but Philly are two getting four on the board now in game one. And they're truly rolling. Gave up ground at the start. Not the same here. Getting punished on rotation doesn't matter if you're just going forward and scoring. This one now over to the right side. Popped up by Yuki, pitch in the air, wins the 50, falling back down, Kaipo alone. Pitch a good dunk. Holding awkward, holding Corvus awkward in the corner as he does fall back down, good bump. Opens up some space, but Zach's touch will still come back to Bula. Plays it off the right side. Yuki now back to the midfield. Zach up to the backboard, straight down. Zach's there. Zach shooting, but blocked. Corvus giving the save. Two players there. Yuki now 50, trying to break out. Kaipo cheats up a little bit too far. Bula off the ceiling. Corvus playing it forward. Pitch going to recover the save. Now centered across. Kaipo blocked out by Zach. Corvus, another good 50. Mavericks still down two, though. 30 seconds. Got to get going. Up the sidewall. Pitch up for it. Pitch down. There you go. There's five, and that should be the game. Was technically within reach, but I think this might be a little bit too tall of a task. 
for the Mavericks would have to match their whole season in the next 20 seconds. And I don't think they're going to quite do that. Kaipo pushing it up to the left side. Sent back across. Yuki gets it up the sidewall. Zach should just have the beat, and he does play it back towards the midfield. Corvus now setting it up. Looking for the next touch, but pitch with a bit of, little bit of a miss. Bula with a miss. Could it be three here for the Mavericks? A great touch by Zach. Sends it away. He pitched it hard into challenge. Yuki still to the backboard. Corvus moving in. Sends it off the corner, but Zach is going to let it fall, though Kaipo does well to keep it up. Yuki trying to turn. Pitch dunked out, and it will fall quite possibly, although maybe no chance for Philly. Zach on the other end. It's six. It went from maybe the Mavericks find a shot to a big clear. Corvus pops it up, but it's towards his own net. And Zach takes those. That's a little bit, little bit of stat padding. As it is a 6-2 game. The Dragons are going to get the win. As we move over now to Forbidden Temple for game number two. Just well played. Mavericks getting the goals. Not too much more you can ask for, but just not finding enough in the defense, letting them down. Letting in six goals. Of course, one in garbage time, one in the last 30 seconds. Fair enough, but even four before that, not producing nearly enough to account for that. Do got to unmute the game. So now down 1-0 in the series. Can they find the response? Not a great start. As Zach just going to win the kickoff and earn a goal. Uh, yeah, Corvus a little bit slow, a little bit under it. And so Zach pops it up and then pushes it over him. And that's how we're going to start game two. In case it wasn't bad enough. Um, yeah, we'll see where the Mavericks can go from here. Of course, did put in two in the last game, so that would be enough for now. Although I do think they'll need more than that to win any in this series. I think Dragons have shown they're quite possible, quite capable on offense. So two goals probably won't be enough, especially with that initial kickoff goal. Zach now from the corner, trying to pass it out. Bula gets up. You keep playing it over to the left side. Now in the corner. Coming back out. Kaipo playing it forward. Corvus is there. Gets the 50. Falling back down. Yuki's there. But a bad angle. And Zach able to take it away. Zach once again. Kaipo now over to the left. This one rolling out. Corvus going to be up for it. Looking for the net. It goes wide. Pitches there. Up exact. But Yuki can't put it on. Save might have been there anyway, but it doesn't matter. Zach working down the sideline. 50 on target. Yuki gets the save, and it does ricochet back to the midfield where Pitch will collect it once again. From the sidewall. Can't get back to it. Yuki looking for the read. Gets the demo on Zach. Corvus is there, and it's tied. Mavericks get the equalizer. One to one. About a minute in. I haven't had to deal with too much defense. It's been a lot of midfield. And obviously quite a bit in the half of um, Philly. And of course that one goal coming in now. But Mavericks definitely need one more. Quite probably need a couple more. Yuki maybe a chance here. Zach left alone. Kaipo hunted. Can't find the bump. Still it's on the goal line. But Pitch gets the save. Pitch now from the sidewall once again. Pops it forward. Working up. Now off the corner coming out. Yuki. Able to play it away. Bula now playing it off the sidewall. Yuki's there. A little bit wide again. Zach an awkward touch. Kaipo's there. Pops it to the backboard. Corvus is up. Drops it down. Drops it in. 2-1. Mavericks take the lead. Zach, give a little bit of an awkward clear. Pitch tries, but can't get behind it. And so Corvus, a free shot, and he nails it. 2-1. Lead claimed two in a row now for the, for the Mavericks. And one more in this match. And they, as I said, double their first two weeks. Five goals in those first six games. Looking as they're now at nine. And the Dragons are at eight in the series, trying to match that season total as well. As Pitch from the sidewall gets a clanger that just finds its way into the top left. Well played. No one ready for it on the defense. And that's two to two. We do see 
Like I said, Villa's having an issue, which I might have seen there, but not disconnecting. So I guess we play on and we'll maybe take some time after this game if we need to. This one now up the sidewall for Yuki. Gets the beat. Pitch moving behind it, trying to work it around the outside. Pitch towards the center. Kaipo playing it away. Zach towards the back wall. Course with a little bit of a miss. Pitch, or Zach rather, getting behind it. Course sending it away. Yuki over to the left side. Zach now having to turn, but Yuki gets the beat up to the back wall. Zach a good touch. Might need one more, but he will get it all the way back to the midfield. Kaipo there. Zach takes it away, though. Pass the pitch. Shot is top left, but a bit too high off the crossbar. And the Mavericks stay alive, stay tied. Corvus playing it on target. Look for the dunk. It's a bump, but the ball sent away by Zach. His pitch, a little bit of a miss, turns into a fake, although Kaipo shooting and Zach saving it. Robbing a pretty good goal there. Now sent back away. Yuki. Bouncing it up, trying to stay behind it. Beats out Bula, Corvus there. Good speed, good shot, good goal. And that's 10. Season total doubled. Yuki, the pre-flip touch around. Corvus, a dust on pitch. Zach too far. And 3-2 with a minute seven left on the clock. A minute 47, rather. 107 seconds is what I meant. The Mavericks take the lead right back. Question is, can they hold on? Can they put in a couple more? Bula now no longer moving, so could be in part to do with what's happening here as far as score line, but as I said, not a full DC, and Dragons are holding on quite well anyway. Okay, bow an awkward pop. Corvus playing it back away. Pitch towards the net. Corvus trying to block it. Send it over to the side for now. Pitch a little bit of a miss. Going to look for another 50. Drops it down. Zach not ready, though. Yuki now down the sideline looking for the air shot. But it's a little weak. Zach able to guide it away. Now a big flick on that one going towards the net. It's on and it's in. The counterattack play for Zach. And the Dragons equalize once again. A banger of a flick. And then that last tap just sending it on tar target. Corvus can get back, but can't pop it far enough. And so three to three. I will say the one thing I'm watching here is Dragons. If they can get two more goals, they will be outscoring the Mavericks in this series compared to the Mavericks season. So interesting storyline to watch out for. Uh, if they outscore them by two from here on out. Yuki plays it upfield off the left wall. This one, same out to the right side. Yuki towards the net, it might be on, it might be in. No one on the field, but the ball is in either, it's in the net. Four to three, Yuki a dunk all the way down into the net. And so they've now beat their season total. And they've taken the lead back, looking to take their first game on the season. Zach winning it forward. Yuki turning it back around. Bula can't quite reach it. Pitch. Plays it upfield. Zach on the catch. Does get removed. Kaipo catching up to it. Passes it over. Staying with it on the dribble. Beats one. But Bula able to get to 50. Down to five seconds though. This one might be open. Can Bula reach it? Yes, he can. And with three seconds left, the Dragons find the tie. Four to four, tied back up. And with three seconds left, will we see OT? Or will someone claim it on zero? Corvus gonna try, but ends up dropping. So we do have a four to four overtime in this game too. Pitch, playing it forward. Bula demo hunting. Kaipo getting up fast enough, able to play it forward. Kaipo cutting it. Corvus on the block. Still, it's dangerous. Pitch going to drop it down. Yuki the only one up. Plays it off the sidewall. Zach leaves it to Bula. Pops it into the corner. Zach trying to center, but Kaipo, good block. Trying to turn it for the counter. Flicks it upfield. Bula 
Gets demo, but does get the clear away first. Corvus just going to play conservative. Going up his own sidewall. Pops it forward. Zach turning. Plays it back up field. Yuki. Neutral touch. Zach continuing to work it forward. Gets a strong pinch across. Pitch going to be the one to try to go. An awkward bounce and won't be able to do so. But Corvus slips away from it as well. Yuki now. Up into the corner, bouncing out to the center. Yuki trying for it. It's off the post. Kaipo's there, but he skies it. Corvus out next. And the Mavericks get their first game on the season. 5-4 to four in overtime. Kaipo, yet another assist as Corvus strikes through. Don't worry about it, Kaipo. It was a pass, I swear. I'm just going to ask if everything's good with the Dragons. As I said at the beginning, they did say Bula's having a little bit of an issue. So. We are just going to wait to see if they're fine. Um, but yeah, Corv's getting four goals. It's okay. Pitch is saying that uh, Bula was lagging. So we're just going to give him a minute. So we're just going to check. Okay. So, yeah, they don't want a new server. Just saying he was lagging. So I'm going to give them a minute, make sure they're fine, and then we'll jump back into this one. I didn't change the map. So, you know, we're going to play on this map again, I guess. But that's okay. Who needs back with unnecessary, honestly? But yeah, hopefully we'll get our players back in soon. And then we'll get this one underway. Just a, a, again, a good, well-played game by the Mavericks. Um, might, I've said it a lot because it is kind of the main thing I've noticed. Um, as I said on the stats, there was a 9% shooting percentage. But um, they have now matched their entire season total in that one game alone. So give it to them. That's a good achievement. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we do have a tied series here, quite notably, so we'll see how that goes. If, uh, again, it was the sub in for the Dragons, um, I would assume because they knew Colorado would be using their sub and whatever else, but we'll see if they continue with that or what, but hopefully we do get them back in soon. Yeah, we are just waiting. Bula might be restarting internet or something. Because they said basically just lagged out. Um, so, yeah. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully not that long. But Mavericks just finding that offense. Now, of course, you can put the asterisk on it of Maverick and Dragons are saying they were 2 v 3 And I could see that at times. It did seem Bula not moving, moving weirdly, whatever. So... That could be why they won the game compared to the 6-2 in game one. Just a guess, but... I mean, either way, they were... I mean, Boomer, it's between games, doesn't matter. Um, but, yeah. It was still a well-played game, and even in that game one, Mavericks did fight. Got the, first two got the first two goals in it, so... I think we still have a chance for a series here, maybe. At least something somewhat close. So, we'll see. But, yeah. So, Dragons, I guess I would say going to need to be responding. Or, which, yeah, all right. We do finally have everyone in. Don't worry that it's the same map. This is game three. Um, I just forgot to change it. And now Kaipo winning the kickoff. Maybe this map is good luck. And I'm giving us a series as Zaka missed touch. It, okay, what a save by Zach actually. And Kaipo, we don't talk about it. Trying on the shot. A little bit awkward on getting under it. I was gonna I was saying maybe it's good luck, and then they almost scored immediately on a Zach missed touch, but 
Good recovery by Zach, keeping it out, although Kaipo, uh, Zach there for the save once again. As we try to get back into the gameplay here for game three, Zach playing it forward, drops it down. Very awkward shot, his pitch might be collecting here, but Yuki sends it away. Kaipo behind it once again. Zach sends it over to the side, Corvus is flying past it. Yuki now forward, sent back by Bula. Not lagging anymore as he looks for the challenge here. Goes for the bump instead, and Kaipo dunks too. Now for the air, fakes it down. Yuki shot. Zach, yet another save. Well, is that a savior already? Saving all the Maverick shots, of which there have been many. Although I don't think that's not that unusual. I believe they did have an average of around 10 per game. As Kaipo now pops this one up, pitch looking for the follow up. Corvus pinching it around. Yuki dropping it across. Zach now up for the challenge. Pitch looking for a redirect. Puts it on. Corvus gets the save. It's still close though. Bula's up. He drops it in. And that's 1 0. The Dragons strike first. For the first time. No, they scored first last game as well, I believe. I was going to say for Gore, but. I spelled it correctly, and I'm sad about that. This one now falling down. Bula popping it upfield. Looking for the read. It just falls down. Yuki can't make it either, though. Pitch now going. Sent over to the side. Corvus sitting behind it, trying to push it down the field. Yuki popping it up. Zach getting the team bump. Yuki getting the fake. Zach getting the save, and it's enough to beat Kaipo. Now turns around, keeping it close. Zach playing it downfield. Corvus trying to turn. Zach going to get a demo. Pitch trying for a shot. Cuts it towards the center. Bula's there. Bula's up. Drops it down far post. But Corvus diving makes the stop. Once again now, Zach across towards the center. It'll be Kaipo playing it away. Bula now the high touch, but Yuki already there. Able to get it away. Yuki back pass. Kaipo the high pop. Zach bringing it back down. Kaipo going to scavenge. He tries to rotate back. It'll be Yuki sending it over, but Pitch sending it right back in. Corvus in his own corner. Sending it away. No Yuki. High touch. Gets the reset. Still behind it. Drop down to Corvus, but can't get any power behind it. So already we're down to two minutes remaining. A 1-0 lead for the Dragons to... A much slower game than the previous two, although Zach almost gets a touch in there. Of course, game one, six to two, game two, five to four. Pretty high scoring, but this one the opposite. Only one goal pretty early on. Zach a touch away, still it's out to Corvus. High touch, looking for a 50, pitch flung it out towards the center. Yuki gets beat though, and Zach will get it in. Two nil. Pitch. Gets the touch, and Zach just pops it. And no one else back. The one player challenging pretty aggressively. Enough to get, or not enough to get on the ball. The pitch now sends it out to the side. Dropped back down by Kaipo. Zach goes, looks for the, for the crossbar. I can't speak, but pitch can score. It's 3-0. Another one in the net there, Dragons. Resuming game one, now that Bula's back in, it seems. Um, also getting redemption on Forbidden Temple. There's the storyline you go with. The map didn't forget to change. Um, they wanted to get back get back at it, you know. They dropped that one game here. Now they're back to reclaim it or something. Is Zach now going to the ceiling? Demo Cub Story trying to drop it, but blocked away. Now Bula off the right wall, playing it back forward. Corvus able to get it backwards. Sends it away, it's falling down to pitch. He'll just take a shot. But Yuki able to dive for the save. Zach, one demo. Looks for a couple more, but instead the ball just spills out for free. And that's four. Two goals for pitch. I believe it's two for Zach, two for pitch is the split. As that one just spills out, Zach the one demo. Corvus left awkward. Tries to parry it out, but can't get it far enough as we get a half second type of reaction. Maybe not satisfied, which I mean, down 4-0. Not the best performance compared to winning the last game, but 
Still time. A minute left to at least try to get a couple back. As I do believe, as of now, the Dragons are outscoring the Maverick season. Let's see. Mavericks have, what, 12? Dragons have 14. So, yeah. The, Ma the Dragons are currently in this series, outscoring the Mavericks season, including the ones they've had in this series. Lula now playing it off the right side. Corvus pushing it the other way. Zach down the center, trying for the fast challenge, able to win it. Yuki now trying to find the touch, can't find it. Bula's up looking for a shot, fakes it out instead, pitch moving it. He fakes and can't find the shot, but he got the fake. That's all that matters. Kaipo now one on one, pitch kind of cringe, cutting it out. Not allowing the opportunity. Clock strikes zero. And the Dragons 2-1. Taking the series lead is this time. I am going to change the map. So we're going to Urban Central. Night. And we're good. So that's match point Dragons. So as we jump in now, game number four, Dragons a chance to close it out. Loaded in. We did change the map this time. This one falling down, Zach. Yeah, we'll clear it the other way. No, working on the sidelines, Zach trying to pop it away. Pops it up field. That might be on, but Corvus going to push it away at anyway. Demo coming through. Bula and pitch both up. Bula dropping down a tiny bit wide. Now it rolls. Yuki dropping it down. Kaipo cutting it. Yuki taking control. Taking it to the air. Kaipo trying to play it forward. It'll be Zach. Push a little bit wide. Yuki now. Lula. Gonna be the one to send it away. It's a little bit slower of a start. No goals yet in the first minute. Corvus though looking to the air. Look for the reset. Does get it, but can't find the touch afterwards. Still it throws out to Kaipo. He'll win a 50 into the Philadelphia corner. Yuki a good dunk. Bouncing up a little bit to the side. The pitch will get the clear. Followed up by Zach. Both now here. Zach has slowed it down, but does get the flick away. Bula getting bumped. Not going to get a shot. Yuki will get a shot, but it's a little bit wide. Kaipo not getting the read. Corvus trying his luck. Pops it a little bit wide off the post. Yuki. Sending it across. Look for the 50. Just able to beat two. Corvus now slowing it down. And that does give time for everyone to recover. Still a chance at a play in the corner. Bula beats one, beats two. Yuki now left alone. Going to be going. Corvus an awkward touch, though. Pitch not completely ready for it. Could give them a chance, though, as Yuki able to push it away. Now bouncing off the right side. Bula off the backboard. Yuki looking for another crossfield shot, but not able to put it on target either. Zach in the air. Kaipo looking for the challenge. Forces him low. Does his job. Zach does get the reset, but Yuki rotating back. Able to stop it, Corvus. Rolling around, pop across from pitch. Kaipo moving in, plays it off the corner, coming out to the center, but Bula just sends it away. Half the game scoreless. I believe, I believe it was game two, or it might have been three, that was 1-0 for a long time. Um, this one is 0-0, zero, zero, so even slower. As these teams starting to settle in, get used to each other. Pitch now playing it upfield. Corvus recovers it off the backboard. Play it across to the right side, rolling down. Corvus taken away, but he can loop back around. It does go a little bit too slow and is bumped. Double commit here for the Dragons, though. Kaipo looking to start an attack. Pitch with a bit of a miss. Mula having to slow it down. 
Kaifo can't find a challenge. Bula cutting. Corvus wins it out. Zach moving in, looking for the double tap, but Yuki blocks it away. Yuki still playing slow. Pitch taking it back. A little bit of an awkward touch there at the end as Kaifo now up for a shot. Plays it off the crossbar, coming out, but a great clear by Zach, buying space. Pitch with a miss, just going to recover and pass it down to Bula, playing it forward. Yuki, a good takeaway. 75 seconds, still 0-0. Zero, zero. Zach catching it down. Pitch playing it forward. Yuki over to the left side. Pop now off the corner. Zippy going to go straight up. Corvus over to the left side. Plays it downfield. So the Ma Mavericks doing well to break out. I wouldn't say they've had that many shots, but neither really have the Dragons. And it's just been a very back and forth game. End to end, a lot of midfield play. Corvus going to try for a shot here, but it is blocked by Bula. Still trying to keep the attack going. It comes out to Kaifo, plays it off the corner. Yuki now moving in, but pitch with the block. Might have a chance, only one to beat, but Corvus, good 50. It will be Zach, although he can't find the touch. Bula now left alone on the other end. Yuki, 50 through him, pitch across. Corvus can't reach it. Not flying close enough, could have been a lead. As of course, his touch now awkward for Kaifo. He can't go pitch down the sideline, working to the post. Corvus a good beat. Forces Bula back. Ball rolling. Zach playing it backwards. Yuki trying back pass. Zach off the corner. Zach now playing it forward. Yuki going upfield. Kaipo catching it across. Perfect pass to Yuki. Can he find the redirect? No, no touch coming through. Corvus now pinching it, but pitch. Surely going to get something. Not the best clear, though. Zach now trying to drop it down, and Kaipo will allow it. So 0-0 zero, zero overtime. Game four. Mavericks fighting for their series life. Avoided the sweep, but can they bring us the whole way? Zach up for a shot early in the OT, but Kaipo, good touch away as it was off the crossbar. Bula plays it forward, but sent away by Kaipo. Back in by pitch, falling down. It'll be Yuki. Playing it over to Zach, he'll pop it up. Going for the aerial play once again, going backboard. Corvus out, can't find the touch. One comes through, it's down to pitch, but Kaipo blocking that contact. Corvus now, quick shot. Demo coming through from Kaipo. Corvus open net, 1-0. One, one, the Mavericks are going the whole way. 2-2, two two. series tied. And the Dragons playing their sub, but not getting an easy win. As the Mavericks are fighting. You could say a DC in game th in game two. I don't know what you could say on this one. As the Mavericks just come through in overtime. Kaipo sets up the play with the demos and Corvus finds the shot in. So as we move over to Champions Field. We are going to Champions Field. Um, definitely didn't expect this. Uh, I thought it was quite possible. Uh, the Dragons would just come out and deliver another sweep. But not the case. As they, are, of course, did choose to use Bula. And there was that one lag game. But even in, despite that, game one, it was close for a time. Game two, they obviously won. Game three, I believe, was close for a time. Although the Dragons, that was probably their most controlled game. And then game four, a very even game that the Dragons come out on top in. So no roster changes. Dragon may be scheduling around their sub. But we'll see as Yuki wins this one forward. Zach going backwards. He's able to touch it over to a waiting pitch, but he can't find a touch. Kaipo, good pass. But no one mid to receive it. Zach, a good cut. Working forward. It'll be pitch. Down the sideline, popping it out. Kaipo on the backboard. No touch pitch is there. Everyone's 50 it. It comes out to Zach. Shot right side, and it finds its way in off of pitch. I think he was sitting on the post and it bounced off his head. Corvus there too, but dropped down a little bit early and it pinches in. I'm not sure how Pitch got that one, but he did. And so the Dragons do score first. And Corvus gets the 50 falling down. Zach is there, another 50 off the sidewall pushed up field. Corvus off the corner. Kaipo gonna get removed. 
Pitch on the pop. Corvus playing it upfield, going towards the crossbar. It's knocked back away. Kaipo off the sidewall. Corvus pushes it up to pitch. He pops it. Corvus back pass. Is there anyone there? Yuki's there. Is that going to get the dunk? Not able to follow it, though. So Kaipo going to be able to pop it downfield, looking for a follow-up himself, looking for the shot, looking for the reset almost, but it spills out to Corvus, and it's tied. Mavericks find the response and find the tie. Kaipo scaring the whole team, no one challenging him. And then the touch that does come not far enough away. And so it's one to one. And the 98% on the dragon sweating just a little bit. As this one played out to Zach going for the shot, but Yuki able to get the block. Mavericks are well alive and in this game, fighting towards another upset, although Yuki not the best touch. Pitch jumps on it, and it's 2-1 Dragons. Corvus was there, but not expecting it. Yuki just pushes it across, and it was a dime, but to the wrong team. Mavericks now the ones fighting back once again. They need another goal. Bula on the catch, Kaipo giving him time, now going to challenge, does get dunked, but it does go high off the crossbar. Yuki now down the center, Zach left alone, guides it away to the corner for now, two players miss, Kaipo left alone again, Zach delayed, high flick, Kaipo slowing it down, still on target, but Yuki able to get back for the save. So the two player save, Zach another one needed here, but Yuki going to be the one to get it. Corvus rolling it across, pitch trying, blocked away. Zach on target and no one in the net. Two players just outside of it, but they can't cover that. And so Zach just rolls it home. Yuki and Chorus getting in each other's way. Kaipo trying to challenge, can't find a touch. And it's 3-1. Now two goal lead and the Dragons might just be having another runaway game. This one off the corner, pitch gonna be going, it is wide. Yuki gets bumped, still behind it, going to the air. Zach trying to challenge, leaves it be, falling down towards the net. Bula can't find the touch, it's off the crossbar, it's on the goal line, and Corvus sends it home. He's been the goal scorer, he's the one they need, and that's the start. Back down off the crossbar. It's Corvus sending it home. A one goal game with two minutes, 19 left. And there is a fight. This one down towards the center. Yuki trying to get back to it. Popped across. Zach there for the redirect. And the two goal lead. Back in place. We've devolved back into a shootout. Zach the miss doesn't matter. Rotates back around. Receives the pass. Gets the shot. And gets the goal. Easy as you like on that one. 4-2. Mavericks have done well to score. They've kept themselves in it. But can they actually make this comeback? This one rolling down, Corvus pass back, Kaipo shot, and finally he scores. He's been so close the whole match, but he punches one in when they need it most. Back within one once again. This time the, uh, the reverse Corvus to Kaipo. And it's 4-3. The shootout continues, but the Mavericks still need one more. Corvus with the 50. Yuki popping it upfield, but Zach able to get the save for now. Kaipo up next, and it's in once again. Four to four. We're tied. Kaipo, two in a row. The lifeblood this team needs. Shooting percentage, he's never heard of it. Top left strike. Upset watch. Still on. Another even kickoff. Yuki trying to receive it. Little bit in his way is Corvus, but Kaipo still able to take it forward. Finds a demo, finds a pass out towards the center. Yuki 50. Bula playing it back away. Zach up for another redirect, just slows it down. Still not on target. It'll be Yuki taking it on to the right side. Looking for the follow up, pushes it forward. Kaipo lurking, but Zach able to cut it away. No Zach falling back down on the flick across. Pitch is there, but it's not far enough. And so Corvus able to pop it out. Kaipo, 50 with Bula, pops up, pitches there, he'll go back wall. Zach trying to jump, surely, but no. Has to leave it as Yuki playing it away, good cut. Beats out Corvus, touch from Yuki, beats out Kaipo. Zach playing it across, pitches up, 
No one finds a shot. Zach now cutting once again, but Yuki finds a clear, has the advantage. He can get back to this one, trying to play it around. Kaipo's there, but Bula blocks it away. One minute, Corvus cutting, going backboard, pass across, but a bit too fast. Now falling down, Kaipo turning, gets over him. Yuki off the right wall, getting back to it, playing it around the corner. Zach a little bit awkward, bop, j bump just barely not connecting. Corvus an awkward touch, Zach hunting for the demo, Kaipo left alone, can he get the block? Yes, he can. Been the hero of the game so far, but the Mavericks still need a goal to win this one with 30 seconds left. Awkward touch, going to be dunked out by Zach, just neutral off the ceiling, Bula a little bit backwards, but it is free for pitch, he'll roll it forward. Corvus sending it back the other way, up for the follow-up. And she get back down, touch for Bula, over to Zach, Zach at the touchdown field. Yuki going to stall it at the midfield. Bula going to win it back forward, down below 10 seconds. Kaipo over to the left side. Can't get a full clear as it'll be pitched still behind it. Up to Zach, dropping it down. And with two seconds left, the Dragons find their response back in the lead. We're going to need a kickoff play for the Mavericks. They fought close, but quite possibly not going to be enough. Can they find the kickoff magic? Or will Kaipo's efforts go to waste? Clock at zero, balls on the ground. And Philadelphia, get it done. It wasn't comfortable, but it was a game. As in the end, it did happen. In this series, the Dragons got 19 goals. On the season, the Mavericks have 17. So we have done that. However, it did go five games, and the Mavericks, what, they had 12 in the series, so they've just about four times their total goals. They had five on the season, and then got 12 in the series, so all I'm seeing, Kaipo diff. Um, and yeah, no, I'm not sure what else there is to say. Kaipo's better. Um, we should get him in the games more often. Um... But yeah, in all honesty, a pretty good game for the Mavericks. Of course, there was the sub in for Philly, but how much does that really matter? As Kaipo was in, maybe shooting percentage, a bit less of an issue here. We should bump up their numbers, but we'll see if we can transition over to this. It was a close game. 3-2, to two, game 5, yet another one. Love to see that, of course. But... Yeah, we do see the Dragons coming out with the win, so I do believe they will retake top in Boeing and second in the East, but we'll see how the standings shake out. Of course, still, what, four games left to play in the week, so we'll see how that goes. One later tonight, I'll see. It was scheduled for midnight, there's a possibility of it getting moved, but just watch the Discord, watch this Twitch channel. It'll go live when that happens, so we'll let you know. Um... But yeah, that'll be Lions Reapers. Pretty good match there. Excited to get to that one, but we do have to wrap this one up. Of course, Dragons, as I said, playing with sub. Getting five sub games in for both sides. Pretty good result. Um, Dragons definitely a little happier for it. Getting a lot of goals. 19, getting the win. And game diff, not a factor anymore. So, pretty happy. Mavericks on the other side. It is a loss. However, you get those goals up. And now you can win a couple tiebreakers. So... Definitely a good result there. But that'll do it for our coverage of this one. So one last time. Final score, Philly 3, Colorado 2. And thanks for watching. But as I said, one more game tonight. Make sure you watch the Discord. Watch this Twitch channel for when that match will be. But that'll do it. So thanks for watching. And we'll see you for that game. Lions versus Reapers later tonight.